About 235 million years ago, dinosaurs began to invade the Earth. It doesn't matter whether in the water, on land, or in the air. Over time, the giant lizards had managed to dominate almost every habitat on our planet. While gigantic marine dinosaurs up to 25 meters long roamed the oceans, colossi equipped with razor-sharp teeth spread fear and terror on the mainland. The ranks of the ruling dinosaur groups were finally completed by the pterosaurs, some of which had wingspans of more than 10 meters. But as we all know, the age of the primeval lizards has now been over for 66 million years, if science is to be believed. While researchers have already unraveled some of the great mysteries about the giants of bygone days, other mysteries from the primordial past have remained unsolved. However, the 10 sensational new discoveries and insights that have recently been recorded could now help us greatly expand our understanding of the giant lizards. Get ready for primeval massacres, colossal bone finds, and dinosaurs that mysteriously began to shrink and dive into one of the most exciting chapters in the history of the Earth with us. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most amazing dinosaur discoveries in the last couple of decades. New Details About Meteor Impact It's widely believed that it was a massive meteor impact that ended the reign of the dinosaurs. However, this doesn't blame the immediate consequences of the impact, but rather the longer-term effects that this event caused. The dust kicked up into the atmosphere, drastically darkened our planet, and ensured that solar radiation was reduced by up to 20% for several years, with catastrophic consequences for flora and fauna. The place where the galactic missile landed 66 million years ago is known as Chicxulub Crater, the gigantic impact site on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, which has a diameter of 180 kilometers, but is now buried under thick sedimentary rock, still bears witness to the elemental force of this event. A team from the Smithsonian Tropical Institute recently examined more than 50,000 fossilized plant relics in order to understand in detail what changes the Earth's flora underwent after the impact. Their findings claim that after the impact of the meteorite, which had a diameter of 10 kilometers, the plant diversity was reduced by at least 45%. Even more surprising, in the days of the dinosaurs, unlike today, the trees were very far apart. While today's rainforests are densely crammed assemblages of plants, primeval forests had expansive, sunlit open spaces between the trees. Shrinking Giants there's no question that dinosaurs fascinate us with their massive appearances. While most primeval lizards actually grew larger during the Cretaceous period, another branch of giants would continue to shrink, the Alvarez sauridae. While this line of dinosaurs had previously reached the body size of ostriches and weighed around 40 kilograms, the Alvarez sauridae began to shrink dramatically around 95 million years ago. At the end of this puzzling development, there were small dinosaurs that weighed just 5 kilos. But what could have led to this reduction? New findings from experts indicate that the miniaturization of the dinosaurs was closely intertwined with their changed diet. Starting out as unchoosy predators, Alvarez sauridae eventually began to become specialized termite and anteaters over time. A reduced body size could therefore have helped the prehistoric animals to make effective use of the emergence of completely new insect species. In fact, not only did the stature change, but also the physical form of the Alvarez sauridae. Previously, they had powerful clawed arms, but later their limbs became short and had only a single spike, ideal for punching a hole in a termite mound. Bloody Surprise Attack 
a case that took place around 76 million years ago in what is now Canada, shows what fatal consequences life could have in the era of the dinosaurs. Using recently discovered fossils, experts were able to reconstruct this bloody dinosaur massacre. It all started with a large herd of Centrosaurus fleeing the onset of the monsoon rains, moving further and further inland. These horned herbivores reached a length of 6 meters and weighed around 2.7 tons. What the colossi didn't know at the time is that they were right on the straight path to their own doom. Indeed, fate decreed that the group of centrosaurs should cross the path of some Dospletosaurus. The mighty carnivores from the Tyrannosaur family spread fear and terror with their monstrous shape alone, a body length of 9 meters and an estimated weight of up to 3.8 tons gave the Despletosaurus the undisputed top spot in the food chain. Immediately, the predators began to pounce on their surprised prey. Many of the panicked Centrosaurus took refuge in a nearby river, where they either drowned or were killed by equally hungry water predators. Huge Dinosaur Bones in Japan when the experts salvaged an ancient fossil on a Japanese beach a few years ago, they were amazed. The huge shoulder blade was a whopping 9 meters long. It quickly became clear that these were the remains of the largest ornithopod ever discovered in Japan. The massive scapula fossil most likely came from a hadrosaur, a group of herbivorous avian pelvic dinosaurs that had 35 known genera. One of the largest representatives of the hadrosaur was the Shantungosaurus, which could reach a length of almost 15 meters. Primeval Play of Colors we now know that the dinosaurs shown to us in lavish Hollywood films have little in common with the actual appearance of the primeval giants. According to this, the skin of many dinosaurs was not adorned with gray-green scales, but rather with a colorful plumage. Originally, a genetic defect caused the prehistoric lizard's solid, horn-like plates to fan out, with unexpected benefits. The dinosaur feathers were able to insulate the bodies of the lizards very well, allowing them to hunt more agilely or flee from attackers even in cold weather. Added to this was the fact that the fanned out scales naturally accompanied other light reflections, so it came about that some of the colossuses may have had an iridescent shade of blue. So the air of dinosaurs was probably a lot more colorful than we previously thought. Australia's Largest Dinosaur Last summer, Australian paleontologists announced a real milestone, the discovery of the largest dinosaur on the continent. The fact that the experts only published their sensational report in 2021, although the fossils had already been discovered in 2007, was because the newly discovered species first had to be described in detail and compared with other known dinosaurs in order to rule out confusion. After the experts finally gained certainty, they named the species from the titanosaur family Australiotitan coaparensis. The long-necked primeval giant was between 25 and 30 meters long and ate purely plant-based food. The Colossus probably lived in the Cretaceous period 92 to 96 million years ago. World's Oldest Thumbs it's well known that we all have opposable thumbs. This means that the corresponding fingers are spaced apart from the other fingers on our hands, allowing us to grasp. For the history of this handy trait, take a look at the pterosaur appropriately named the monkey dactyl. In fact, the Jurassic reptile whose fossils were unearthed in northern China two years ago is the oldest known creature to have opposable thumbs. Around 160 million years ago, monkey dactyls were probably able to easily climb trees to hunt insects and other prey. New Species of Dinosaur 
It's 2013 when a Mexican paleontological team uncovered some 72 million year old fossils. In the course of the detailed scientific investigation that followed, it finally became clear that these were the remains of a hitherto completely unknown species of dinosaur. The skull of the lizard, christened Tilatolophus galorum, was 80% intact and sported a large crest. That part of the body was not only used for visual adornment, but also also functioned through internal passages that connected the trachea with the nose like a kind of endogenous trumpet. The experts suspect that the herbivores emitted loud noises to scare off attackers and attract mating partners. Ancestor of the Triceratops those primeval lizards, which were characterized by their neck shield and their horns, belong to the group of the Ceratopsidae. One of the best-known representatives of this branch is undoubtedly the Triceratops, which reached a length of 9 meters and weighed up to 12 tons. While the Colossus with the three horns roamed our globe 68 to 66 million years ago, researchers succeeded a few years ago in identifying a no less fascinating ancestor of these famous famous prehistoric giants, the Titanoceratops. Although its fossils had been discovered in New Mexico in 1941, it would be many decades before the ancient bones could be correctly assigned. Previously, Titanoceratops, now recognized as a separate genus, was incorrectly placed in the Pentaceratops genus. Quite a few researchers assumed that the 8-meter-long and 7-ton dinosaur was a direct ancestor of the Triceratops. Evidence of Nesting Dinosaurs Researchers have long suspected that most dinosaurs laid eggs and protected their nests like modern birds do. However, it would not be possible for the experts for many decades to find solid evidence of the actual brood care of primeval lizards until now. Some researchers in China recently came across a fossil nest of an overraptorosaur that was around 70 million years old. Inside were not only the laid eggs, but also the mortal remains of an adult dinosaur. Since the largest part of the skeleton was lying in a hunched position on the eggs, the scientists see this as clear proof that the prehistoric animals actually guarded their nests closely. No less interesting, at least seven of the 24 eggs contained embryos that had not yet hatched and were in different stages of development. This suggests that they would not have hatched at the same time, a circumstance which is an absolute anomaly in modern birds. Armless Dinosaur We've already covered 10 amazing new discoveries in the world of dinosaurs, but here's a bonus entry for you that's still breaking news. In February of 2022, a team of researchers in Argentina made a shocking discovery that has left experts baffled. The team located the remains of a new type of dinosaur that, as far as we can tell, would have been virtually armless. These dinosaurs, named Guimicia ochoa, were identified using a skull that was found during an excavation project. These armless dinosaurs are believed to have traveled across Europe, Africa, South America, and even India before they finally went extinct. Experts claim they would have died off around 66 million years ago, but we can't be so sure. Researchers say that while these dinos would have looked somewhat similar to a T-Rex, their brain cavity is remarkably small compared to other dinos of the same size. It's believed that while these dinosaurs technically had arms, they would have been entirely unusable and would have flopped around on the chest of the dinosaur. Though you can't let this bizarre deformity fool you. As far as we can tell, these dinosaurs would have still been a fearsome foe. While their arms didn't serve much of a purpose, their jaws were known to be incredibly strong and would have easily made up for their missing appendages. According to paleontologist Anjali Gaswani, this new dinosaur is quite unusual for its kind. It shows that dinosaurs that lived in this region were quite different from those in other parts of Argentina, supporting the idea of distinct provinces in the Cretaceous of South America. During the late Cretaceous, South America was divided into North 
northeastern and southwestern realms by a sea corridor which acted as a filter for some vertebrates. The strong morphological differences exhibited by Guinicia in contrast to other abelosaurids may be an additional proof of the biogeographic distinctiveness of northwestern Argentina during the late Cretaceous. When compared to other parts of the world, Argentina is a relatively new landscape when it comes to dinosaur excavations. This means that in due time, there may be many more dinosaurs to discover in the area. Now it's your turn. Which discovery fascinated you the most? We're looking forward to reading your comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and see you next time.